What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a preview of the new VLOX 2. Now if you guys aren't familiar with VLOX back from iOS 7, then what it allows you to do is swipe up on app icons to interact with those apps, without actually having to go inside of the application itself. Now there's two different ways to interact with these apps. One is it's going to give you a specialized view, and second, if it doesn't have a specialized view, it's just going to give you the notifications for that particular app. So to give you an idea of what a specialized view would be, let's say we swiped up on the Twitter app and you can see that I can quickly compose a tweet just by swiping up on the application icon. Now let's say that we wanted to quickly reboot, respring, or lock our device. Just swipe up on the settings icon right there and it's going to allow you to do just that. Now if you don't have a particular specialized view for that application, then it's just going to give you notifications from that application. So let's just say that we wanted to swipe up on Instagram. And you can see right here that I just have notifications right here rather than any type of specialized view. So that's basically how this works. And there's a ton of different applications that have specialized views and there are going to be more before the final release is out on Cydia. So just to name a few, I mean, it's going to work with Amazon, as you can see right here. Here's a specialized view and it brings up Amazon so you can search right there. If you want to use the camera, you can see if we swipe up on that, then it's going to give us the camera right here and you can see that that's working uh, right there. Again, for the clock, if we swipe up, it has all of my alarms that I can quickly and easily just toggle on if I need to. Again, for the weather, this is a really cool one. You can see that we have the city, we have the uh, temperature outside, and also the forecast right here that we can scroll through. So that's really nice. And there's going to be a ton of different other applications that are going to allow you to get a specialized view. And I'll put actually a list of a lot of those in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Now that we've got an idea of what the tweet does, let's go ahead and jump into the settings here and we'll go into uh, the settings panel for VLOX. So we'll go ahead and open that up and you can see that you just have a kill switch right up here at the top. You also have dark mode, which I have enabled. So if I disable this, let's go ahead and check out what that does. So let's try out the weather app and you can see that it basically just gives it a brighter look. This was the dark gray before, now it's more just white. So let's go back into the settings here. And you can also use faster animation. So if you want to speed it up a bit, then you can do that right there. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Now, if you want to change your activation method, then you can do it right here. Uh, we have swipe up on icon. You can also use swipe down on icon, double tap, triple tap, or just hold the icon. So it just kind of depends on what you want to use. Uh, swiping down on the icon can sometimes get you the spotlight. So it's just easier to have it on swipe up on icon for me anyways. Now right over here we also have plugin preferences. So this is going to be your preferences for your VLOX plugins. So right here is where we have Amazon, App Store, BBC, BuzzFeed. These are all the specialized views that you have right here. And what's really cool about this is that it's open for other developers to make plugins for this particular tweak. So that's really nice to always have, especially when it's a tweak like this, people have preferences and would really like to have specialized views for specific applications that possibly the developer isn't going to have time to just you know do for every single app. So it's really nice to have something like this that allows other developers to make those specialized views for applications and then we can just install them as users. And then right down here we also have VLOX view for apps. So choose which VLOX view you would like to have for each app. So this is another really cool thing. So right here we have notification view and we also have VLOX Amazon. So this is basically where you're going to select what plugin you're going to get for that particular uh, application. So let's just say that you had uh, multiple uh, plugins for the Amazon app. So this is basically where you're going to decide which plugin you want to use for what particular application. So we obviously have VLOX Amazon or we could use the notification view. So that's all that this really does. And once you select that, then it's going to take effect. And right here we have another more option. So if we just tap on that, this is the new developer of VLOX. He's not the original developer, but he was reached out to by the original developer of VLOX to kind of take over just because the original developer didn't have time to update the tweak. So I'm not sure of the price that this is going to be in Cydia once it's released, but I do recommend checking this out, definitely. I think this is an awesome tweak, highly recommended, something I'm gonna be using on my device for quite some time. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Again, if you wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.